Holy crap, guys, we are in Roswell, New Mexico with the aliens. Right behind us here is the Roswell UFO Museum. We are so stoked because we're about to go in there and examine every inch of it. This place is totally crazy with aliens. Look at this. Even the pawn shop has an alien sticker on it. <laughs> Look at this. Across the street is the alien invasion shop. Then right over here, aliens cakes and donuts. Gus and Lucy's place, the alien souvenir shop. There's even an alien stop tattoo shop. Even the street lights are aliens. If you want to see more of what's down here on Main Street in Roswell, come over to our other channel, Romancing the States. That is our travel channel where we are traveling the United States in our RV. You can also see the awesome new wrap job we just had done. But for now, we are going to go over and explore with the aliens at the International UFO Museum and Research Center, which I am 100% positive used to be a movie theater. I am so excited. So come with us right now while we go explore with E.T. 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 All right, guys, check this out. Before we go in, we just noticed this ginormous mural over here. Roswell, we believe. Look at this, guys. Right out front, we have Mac Brazel in the alien debris field. If you know the story of Roswell, you know what I'm talking about. This is hilarious. Look at this alien over here, surrounded by little cacti. Okay, guys, here we go. I am so overly excited right now, I can't even stand it. Okay, guys, we are entering the UFO Hall of Fame. Wait, what the heck? Look at this. Okay, saucer desert scene. Rocks are from the 47 Roswell debris field. Holy crap, look at this. Look at this alien. The thinker alien. I've seen this guy on ancient aliens a billion times. Hmm, look at this. What in the world is this? I guess this is a wall that you can sign. How cool is that? Look at this, Demi Moore signed this wall. She was actually born here? Mm -hmm born and raised here in Roswell. She may even be an alien herself. What in the world? Look at this. Fred Durst. <laughs> what the heck? He's got a Limp biscuit shirt on. Okay, so the wall is just for guest speakers and celebrities. I did not say how about YouTubers. <laughs> oh, and here's some signed pictures of some of the people who apparently have been here. Look at this. D. Wallace. E -D -D -D. Okay, let's go on into the museum here. And look at this, right as we enter. Look at these aliens. This is hilarious. How cool is that? <laughs> Ooh, this must be like the timeline for the, uh, the Roswell incident. Look at this, we got a little, what do you call this thing, babe? A diorama of the crash? Mm hmm. Hmm, that's pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. This is like a picture of Mac Brazel, the rancher, and Jesse Marcel with the remnants that they lied and said was a weather balloon. It wasn't a weather balloon. It was a weather balloon. Okay, this is cool. So they have the whole timeline. It starts over here, and then it continues over here, and we got all the dates and everything that has happened, all the evidence, newspaper articles, and everything. So this is what they're claiming, mm -hmm. what the military was claiming was actually what was found. This is how they justified them finding aliens. They said that it was one of these dummies and uh, this guy up here. And they're claiming that's what crashed to the ground and that's what they found, which we all know is a lie. It's like they reached in and ripped out our hearts. Check this out, guys. This is actually made by Distortions Unlimited, which if you are a huge Halloween fan like me, then you know they make some of the most awesome Halloween props ever. This was made for the show that they were doing, Making Monsters on the Travel Channel. Look at this. Right now, it's shut down, but the guy just told me that it turns on automatically every 30 minutes, so the next time this turns on, I'm going to be standing right here to film it, so stay tuned. <laughs> Look at this picture here. It's like this alien is sitting on the rock going, oh my god, what just happened? Ooh, babe, yes. Communion. We gotta watch that tonight. Yeah, sure. Yes, we're doing it. Communion tonight. Occasional coarse language, I don't know. <laughs> How cool is this? I wish these were on, but 
Okay, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This was filmed around uh, Devil's Tower, which is actually in, what did we figure out, babe? Wyoming? Nevada. Nevada? Right? Okay, it's either Nevada or Wyoming. I don't remember. And we will definitely be going there uh, on our travels. So, yeah, so another reason for you to come over to the Romancing the States channel, because we're going to all these places, guys. Look at this, the Betty and Barney Hill incident. Yes, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I remember reading about this and it scared the crap out of me. Hey, this is the movie that I was telling you about, babe. This one right here, the Roswell, Roswell, the UFO cover-up with Martin Sheen and Dwight Yoakam. Dwight Yoakam plays Mac Brazel. Yeah, <laughs> he plays the rancher that finds all the, uh, all the debris. This movie is like 80 bucks on Amazon, guys. Look at this, I love how they have all these uh, things here for the movies and the shows surrounding Roswell. This is the TV show called Roswell. And this is from the movie War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. If you guys never listened to it, like the radio show, you have to look on YouTube and listen to it. Nowadays it's kind of creepy, but you can totally tell why people fell for it and believed that it was real when they were listening to the broadcast back in the day. This is awesome. Look at this. The day the earth stood still. Patricia Neal. And there he is. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, Pat Patricia Neal, Hugh Marlowe, and Michael Rennie. Wow. The day the earth stood still. From out, of, from out of space, a warning and an ultimatum. Look at this. This is so cool. I love this. It's so huge. Look at this one, babe. Fire in the sky. My brother refuses to watch this movie. He watched it once and it's so creepy. This is true. Uh, Travis that. Walton. When we go out to, I believe it's Arizona. Is it Arizona? Uh, I don't remember where it happened, but I believe it's Arizona where this actually happened. Fire in the sky. We're watching that tonight too. Communion and fire in the sky. You probably won't be going to sleep after we watch them. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so we got Men in Black, Independence Day. What's on this side? The X-Files. I need to watch the X-Files. When it was on, I never gave it very much of a chance, but I need to. Project Blue Book. Project Blue Book is a legit thing, guys. Look it up. Babe, maybe this is the horse we keep smelling around here. <laughs> Look at this. This is pretty cool. It's like an alien horse. Look at this, it's plastered with all the uh, newspaper articles. It's a weather balloon. He's got no eyes, Okay, He's an alien, he doesn't need eyes. <laughs> he sees with his mind. This is so cool. I love this so much. Look at this, Jesse Marcel holding the remnants of a weather balloon and he's like, uh, are you guys serious? Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This is so cool. Look, we got the alien autopsy alien. Oh my gosh. I wish this stuff was turned on. Like, the lights inside would make that look so cool. It's like a lab in here from Area 51. Look at this one. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool is that? I love the giant murals they have up here. Oh look, this is a screen. They must pull that screen down and and show alien movies or something. Roswell, the UFO cover-up. Well, oh, cool, look at this. This is supposed to be debris from the field. And then this is supposed to be the alien autopsy. How creepy is that? I think the mannequins are just as creepy. <laughs> Okay, we're hearing things, guys. So this stuff must like turn on in a cycle around here. Because now we got music going from the movie and flashing lights. The day the earth stood still. Okay, so let me read this on the poster here. The alien prop was originally designed and created by a veteran special effects artist, Steve Johnson, using detailed descriptions from the 47 Roswell incident witnesses. It was made as a prop for the 94 Showtime movie Roswell. This one right here with Martin Sheen. The movie's executive producer donated the alien prop to the museum once the filming was completed. So this alien right here was used in the Roswell movie. That is so creepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Yeah, look at this, guys. This is called the Palenque Astronaut. If you ever watch Ancient Aliens, um, or if you've seen this, uh, Chariots of the Gods, Eric Von Daniken. I think that's a book, actually, but there's a whole show about it, too. This is a replica of the tomb lid. And if I turn this sideways here, you can see the guy in the spaceship. And it's outlined right here. This is so cool. You have to watch Ancient Aliens to get this. And this stuff is all legit stuff that they have found over time that proves that there are aliens. Ancient aliens. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. They're all aliens. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is here. Tom Reed. I'm going to have to look that up. Apparently it's another sighting or something. Look at this creepy thing. I hope I never wake up and see that in front of my bed. <laughs> Look at this photographic evidence of the aliens looking for evidence. Holy crap. This stuff is all so cool. Here it goes. Here it goes, guys. Look at the look on these guys' faces. They're like, we're scared, but we will kill you. That was pretty cool. There's actually supposed to be fog and everything, but uh, for some reason there was no fog, but it was still pretty cool. Okay, what is this? The supervisor, the reticulin, the supervisor of the crew of 11 humanoids stands in the dardened corridor between the double row of windows and Betty Hill's examination room. That's pretty spooky to read. Look at this stuff, guys. These pictures are so creepy. I mean, what if you woke up and there was an alien at a foot of your bed? What the heck, look. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these things. I need to do some alien paintings just because. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there's a big reflection on there. I know how well you can see this stuff, but that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this, we got more pictures and evidence here close encounters of the first kind the second kind third kind nocturnal lights and radar visual i love the artist depictions of these things look at that what the heck this one looks like lilo and stitch marion must have got beamed up i stopped to take a picture of these guys she's totally gone how did they get here they flew in their spaceship look at this Nazi Foo Fighter? What the heck? And look at this one. What the heck? <laughs> and seriously, guys, I'm not making fun of this stuff. It's funny to see this stuff, but I'm not making fun of it. I totally believe in aliens. Look at this. Personal accounts of alien and spacecraft encounters. Trucker says journey covered light years, but his alien pilots made it in a few hours. Oh, yes, we have a whole wall full of alien art. I love this stuff. It's so creepy. Look at this. What the heck, man? I love alien art. <laughs> Look at this one up here. Like, everyone will die. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's like an abstract kind of thing. Somebody on acid must have done that one. What the heck? He's like, the people on this planet are crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this one. He's got a skull. What the heck? This is so cool. I love this right here. Look at this. I love that so much. What is this guy doing? 
Mac Brazzle. And look at this one here. This is pretty cool. That is spooky. This is a sweet one right here. Look at that. What would you do if you walked outside and you saw that? Oh my gosh, no they didn't. That is hilarious. Here's another uh, thing from Roswell, that movie. Here's another poster from Roswell. From the TV show Roswell. War of the Worlds. Another War of the Worlds. Comics. What the heck, look at this, Beetle Bailey. A new batch of recruits just arrived. Where are they from? Roswell. Oh my gosh, look at this one. They should not be allowed anywhere near caffeine. <laughs> okay, now this is hilarious. Look, we're gonna crash. Quick, throw out Air Force dummies. What the heck, look at this, guys. The extraterrestrial exposure law. In 1969, United States law was passed called the Extraterrestrial Exposure Law that made it illegal for the public to come in contact with extraterrestrials or their vehicles. Seriously, guys, if you need proof, that's all you need right there. If they pass a law about not coming in contact with extraterrestrials or their vehicles. <sighs> and look, this is a whole list of military and government officials that believe in UFOs and aliens. Okay, that is it for the museum. Some things were not turned on, which is a bummer, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to take you guys through the timeline. Hold on, check this out. Look at this, an E.T. made from a gourd. <laughs> what the heck, look at this stuff. That guy's awesome. Little green alien. That's one of those things that you hold and you go like this and he like dances. That's hilarious. Yeah, so I wanted to take you through the, uh, the timeline back there of the Roswell incident, but there's just too many people in here right now. I don't want to get in their face, so look it up for yourself. Watch the Roswell movie. Absolutely unbelievable, and it truly happened. Let's go check out the gift shop.